Hi there, my name's Chris, and I'm gonna be giving you a virtual tour of The Loft today. The Loft is a co-living community in San Francisco by Open Door. And before we get started with the virtual tour, let's just zoom out a little bit and take a look at a map. So The Loft is in the Soma District, and the Soma District is one of the most popular districts in San Francisco. It is incredibly walkable. You have tons of restaurants, cafes, a, a five minute walk in any direction and you're gonna find tons of amazing restaurants, things to do, things to eat. Some of our favorites are Black Hammer Brewing, 21st Amendment Brewery and Restaurant, and there's an entire list on, on our website. So definitely check those out. Another really great thing about The Loft is it's super close to some of the other really fun things in San Francisco. So you could take a jog up north and you can jog across the Embarcadero. Or you can also go to the, the legendary farmer's market. This is one of the best farmer's markets in the world. You can also go down south and check out Mission Bay, have a coffee, drink some wine. And that's the general theme of, of living in Soma is you can walk in any direction and, and you're going to find something fun. You're also really close to public transit. We have a Powell Street Bar Station right here, Civic Center Bar Station right here. Fourth and King Bus Line is right here. And the loft itself is located right here at 472nd 3rd Street. And the loft is interesting because it's, well, it's a loft. It's located on top of a really cute tea shop called Darjeeling Tea and next to a sushi shop called Hakechi Restaurant. So let's take a look and actually dive into the loft. The entrance of the loft is right down these stairs. There's a first floor entrance and you walk up these stairs and you are greeted by two rooms on the left. In fact, there's a third room behind that door, so three rooms on the left, and then this beautiful living room, dining room, and kitchen. The loft has seven bedrooms in total, with three bathrooms. We have two bedrooms in the back, and these are two of the, the big bedrooms. These both have 150 square feet each, and these beautiful bay windows, and these hardwood floors. So these two rooms are set up differently. This bed is set up against this wall and it leaves the bay window open. And you can see you have a little bit less, less space in here. You might be able to fit a desk or a dresser, but you're probably just gonna keep the bed in the center and really enjoy these big bay windows. The other room has the bedroom against the bay windows and that gives it a lot more space. So in this bedroom, you can see you could easily fit a desk, potentially a couch, and you still get all that beautiful natural light from those bay windows. In this room, you have a small closet, and we will go into the third bedroom on this side, and that is a smaller bedroom with 100 square feet. Now, the rest of the bedrooms at the loft are all configured in the same way. They have these dressers and then these Murphy beds that are in the wall right here. So this closet door will come out and you, you can fold this Murphy bed down and then you have your, your, your bed. One of the really great things about this configuration is, is during the day, this can feel more like an office if you wanted to. You could have uh, for instance, a pop-up table or something that you put in here to make it feel productive during the day. And then at night when you want to sleep, all you have to do is pull that Murphy bed out and you have a bedroom. This open design is just gorgeous. I love seeing the living room, the dining room, the kitchen all together. And one of the features of open door co-living homes is, is all the common spaces are completely furnished. So there's no fear of you know, someone moving out and taking the couch with them or, or taking um, the silverware with them or the Vitamix with them. Everything that is here in the common spaces uh, stays in the common spaces. 
We have another one of those Murphy bed rooms here. And we can see here's an example of that Murphy bed actually being laid down. There's not a lot of room in here when the bed is out, but you can fold it up during the day like I mentioned and have some more space. Maybe you're a dancer and you want to use it as a dance space or a little bit of yoga space in the morning. All that's possible because you can, you can lift and uh, raise those beds right, right back into the wall. So this is a long dining room table with space for eight people. We also have a breakfast nook with three different bar stools. We'll go into another bedroom before we check out the kitchen. So this is similar to what we've seen. It has the Murphy bed, small little closet, Like I mentioned, all of these are, are pretty much the same, all of those Murphy bedrooms. This kitchen is entirely renovated. There's new stainless steel appliances all throughout, a new refrigerator, microwave, range, and then we have a uh, dishwashing and drying machine right here as well. The Vitamix and espresso machine, toaster oven, all of this stuff is all part of, of this co-living space. So. These things won't leave when someone else leaves. We have three bathrooms back here. But before we head back into those, let's just check our one of our last Murphy bedrooms. Let's go into our bathrooms now. These are also completely renovated. We have, this is a full bathroom with shower. We have our washers and dryers that are also a part of the loft. So we have an over-under washer and dryer. We have our final bedroom. So here's that closet like we saw in all the other rooms. We have a little bit of desk space in this room. And then let's check out the last two bathrooms. And you see we have a little bit of storage space back here. Here's another full bathroom. We have shower, toilet, completely renovated, really pretty bathrooms. And then our final bathroom has a bathtub. So you can see we have the shower head, but also great if you're a person that loves taking baths. This door right here goes outside to some stairs and that's where all of the, the garbage collection is at. And that is the end of our tour at the loft. If you have any other questions, I am here for you and happy to answer them. You can also go to open door slash property slash the loft and get a full rundown of everything that we talked about. So all the things inside of, of the loft, um, some of the our favorite restaurants in our Soma neighborhood guide, and all of the different video tours and, and membership details. If you have any questions, please let me know. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye-bye.